The 49ers lose to the Bengals in an extremely unfortunate fashion, not the way that the 49ers needed to head into this bye. Actually, the exact opposite of what we were looking for. The San Francisco 49ers defense and turnovers continue to be the story uh, that is of their unraveling, it feels like, with the three-game losing streak heading into the bye. Uh, loss at home, obviously we know what happened the last two weeks, but man, this is just really unfortunate football that we're seeing from the San Francisco 49ers who look to be dominant to start the season going 5-0. and oh. uh, it, You could feel it right off the first series, three and out, and then the defense gives up a huge scoring drive, and it was just like, this is exactly how the 49ers can't start and obviously they were able to cut it close throughout the game but we had some really poor interceptions by 49ers Brock Purdy um, it was tough man because we started to get some sacks Eric Armstead had two sacks we got some turnovers uh, the defense was keeping us in the game giving us more opportunities but we 49ers just couldn't capitalize and score down the stretch and again Brock Purdy had that one interception, like when he was scrambling out to the right. Looked like he was just trying to float it off to, uh, I think it was Elijah Mitchell, but the play looked like it was, looked like it was a broke down play or something, um, but just threw it right to the linebacker. Then Brock Purdy just staring down the middle, threw it right to the linebacker again. Um, he got away with another interception down here at the end because of uh, uh, roughing the passer. I, it was just, it was concerning there at the end. Um, not something that's been what we would say, quote unquote, typical of Brock Purdy uh, since we've seen him uh, as a starter with the San Francisco 49ers. So I think the same things re uh, remain an issue. Um, being able to take care of the football. Uh, turnovers continue to be a problem, and especially at the quarterback position which is not ideal and then the 49ers defense still struggles mightily uh struggled stop stopping the run uh again giving up first downs um like they're passing out halloween candy just an unfortunate unfortunate three game stretch that the 49ers have put together and now what we have to question is is this who the san francisco 49ers are is this who they are was the first five weeks a fluke? Because I say it all the time, first four or five weeks of the season is the preseason for all these teams. Have they figured out the 49ers? And have the 49ers fallen back to reality? Uh, those are real questions that now have to be answered because although this was a really good Bengals team, they are a playoff caliber team. We know how, many, how good they are. Joe Burrow played pretty well on the day. Um, but now those are the questions that we have to ask. Is this team, uh, are they for pretend? And I hate even bringing that up because of how well they played the first five weeks. But it's almost like this team that we've watched the last three weeks is unrecognizable. Um, we see glimpses of the team that we know, uh, the defense and offense and all these different things. But it's like, man, they cannot stack it together consistently more missed opportunities and it just spirals out of control on them um it's concerning uh, i am i'm a fish i think we're all concerned um considering where this team started and where they're heading into the bye five and three Woo! Five and three heading into the bye. Ooh, how are you? I'm obviously, how are you guys feeling about this game? Um, do you think that the San Francisco 49ers are still playoff contender um, with how they've been performing, how the defense is performing, offense, special teams, all three phases? I think the, the one thing that really kind of exemplifies today's game, I, was, I just happened to look at Kyle Shanahan on the sideline uh, right after the 49ers had scored and cut it to a one-score game, and they needed that big stop by the defense to get another opportunity to get it to tie before the game was over. And the defense was just 
The Bengals were just driving down the field on the defense. I looked over at Kyle Shanahan, and he just yeeted a tablet about 15 yards. Um, he could have handed it off to the guy. He said, nope, I'm going to yeet this thing. And so I feel like that was very kind of emblematic of the day. Uh, Kyle Shanahan yeeting a tablet 10 to 15 yards downfield. Uh, one of the better throws of the day. Uh, but we <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks until the 49ers play again. That's going to be a long two weeks. It's going to be a lot of soul searching. Uh, that's going to be done with the 49ers sliding 0-3 uh, into the bye week. Give me your reactions. Drop it in the chat. Let me know how you guys are feeling. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.